my awesome crochet friends. I am so, so excited to be here. We are going to talk all about color changes. Are you ready for it? I am so, so thrilled you're here. Let me know where you're from and what you're working on. And I would love to know whether you finished this mystery crochet along. There are so many pictures. There are so many people that signed up for it. There's a lot of people that actually messaged me later saying they regret sign not signing up because now they love it so much they need to make one. So what did we actually make? So I filled mine up with some yarn. <laughs> as you can see, just so it has some volume and I can hold it properly uh, because, you know, laying it down is much easier when it's stocking, right? But what we made here, let me hold it properly. So I added a little bit of a, you know, a leather tag right here. I actually, if you ever want to know how I did this, I just bought some leather, I cut it and I bought like a leather hole punch and I made some holes and then I sewed it on. So you don't really have to buy those. You just buy a sh strip of leather and then you just attach it. Anyways, so what did we actually make? Okay, so we made this uh, Christmas stocking, obviously, but what did we actually focus on? We focused on color changes using a technique that's called Fair Isle. Some people just call it, you know, crochet knitting, uh, meaning it's the crochet knit stitch. It's also known as the waistcoat stitch. It's also known as the split center a single crochet or split sin a single crochet or center split single crochet. There's many different different names for this. Uh, it's all the same thing. <laughs> so it looks like it's knitted, but it wasn't. Uh, you probably noticed if you actually made it. So it is so much fun. So we have some snowflakes down here. We have a garland over here. You can call it ornaments. You can call it a light, uh, you know, light garland, whatever. Uh, we have a beautiful tree. By the way, I love that some people change the colors for different uh, parts of this pattern. That is so exciting. It's so fun. Then we have some snowflakes or some stars however you want to call them and we have the reindeers there on the top obviously the back is exactly the same I made mine in red and white I made the white on top I have the white as all the pictures and then focused on the heel and the toes also in red so for me my focus was the images but I did see some people make this bottom here in white and the heel also in white which makes me think of socks which is like super cute I absolutely love it that some of you guys did that some of you guys even made it in blue some I think I saw green I saw different colors for this which is super super fun and I'm so excited so many of you guys are here and if you haven't shared yet, please, please go ahead and share. We're going to talk all about color changes and I have questions for you in between. So let me know if you need some help with color changes. Okay. Raise your hand and also let me know if you ever wanted to know all about colors itself on its own, like how to combine different colors okay because i feel like that can be a very big struggle when it comes to crocheting because when we learn how to crochet we just learn how to crochet the stitches or patterns but we never really talk about the colors on its own and how to combine them to have a really good harmony so if you want to learn more about that let me know in the comments okay and we're going to talk about this so this is Fair Isle. This is one technique, okay? And at the end of the video, I also will announce the three winners for the Mystery Crochet Along. So stay tuned, stay here because I have a lot to talk about. And it's gonna be so much fun. I have a lot to show you. Like it's going to be mind boggling for you. You may have never seen some of this stuff before. Who knows? <laughs> but if you joined the Mystery Crochet Along, please let me know. I would love to know. Oops, I just kicked my water bottle over. Yep, I did that. <laughs> So anyways, I am so excited. So many of you guys are here. Let me show some of you guys off here. Okay, we have Heather, we have Robin, and we have Caroline, Chrissy, Lo, ooh, I like your name, and Dawn. Who else is here? Leave a comment down below if you're here. I am so, so excited for you to be here. If you are on Facebook or on YouTube, go ahead and share. If you are in my Facebook group, uh, maybe if you know any of your fr Facebook friends that are in my group, go tag them in there because you can't share outside of the group, right? But you can always join on YouTube if you really, really want to share. Uh, really excited for y'all to be here. Yay! Okay, so are you ready? So let me know. 
Oh, would you like to learn more about colors? Okay, Virginia said, yes, I wanna know about it. Okay, so let's get into it. So colors, okay, there's something called a color wheel. Have you guys heard of that? What about the color theory? Well, there's so much to learn. There is, in order to create harmony, you have the primary colors, you have the secondary colors, your tertiary colors, and then you have colors that you can combine with, you know, like you can learn about um, different colors such as uh, the complementary colors, right? There's so many things you can learn about, but here's a few things that I like to do. I'll give you some tips here, okay? Here's some teaching for you. Okay, so I like to combine a bold color with a neutral color or a color there in the same, kind of in the same tone, okay? So we have like, let's say red, we have light pink. So actually look at this, this right here, okay? This is like a perfect, like really good color scheme right here, okay? So look at this. So you have it like going from really dark um, okay, like purple, then to like dark pink, light pink, and a really, really light pink, like almost like, you know, um, I don't even know what color that is. It's called very light pink. <laughs> I don't remember. But I like to combine like bold colors or like an ombre effect. This is what I call like an ombre effect, right? I like to combine that with like a neutral color, like gray, for example, or black or white. Uh, if you do that, you have a really good combination. And you can see that right here, right? There's a reason why we like Christmas colors, okay? We like it with like a white together, like red and white, green and white. Uh, white but if you combine green and red mm, there's something missing you usually want something else and that is where then white and gold comes in right so you have those colors pop up or you may have some black in there right there's a reason why we like santa because it has black white and red okay that is really harmonic or hom harmonic harmonic i think it's the name <laughs> it's very harmonic for your brain okay the harmony is really really smooth and easy going Okay, so there's a lot that you can learn about, but I have more for you, okay? But let's get th uh, through some of the color techniques. So let me know, I'm gonna, you know, line up some color techniques and you guys tell me if there's any of them you have never heard before, okay? And if you, if there's any of them that you really, really wanna learn about, okay? okay? The very first thing is tapestry and ontargia. Do you guys know the difference between the two? Okay, have you guys ever tried tapestry or ontargia? Okay, so those two different techniques actually both use single crochet, okay? So you have single crochet and then you can change colors in different ways, okay? Some of them, some of the techniques I already taught you in the mystery crochet along, if you listen to it, uh, there's a whole video on, okay? But some of the techniques I kind of left out because I, they're, they can be very challenging. They can be very hard to understand. So I focused on just Fair Isle. Now, it doesn't mean you can't understand them. It means that you need a little bit more um, uh, in-depth detailed tutorial in order to do that, right? And I have all of that for you. So no worries about it. I'm just gonna give you the line out here, okay? So do you guys know the difference between tapestry and ontargia? I wanna know, leave a comment down below and let me know and then I'll go into it a little bit um, so one of the techniques is very well known when it comes to um, graph GANs for example right that's like the term for most of it is like oh I want to make a graph GAN so a graph GAN is typically anything that uses a graph right but a lot of times very recently I've noticed that, that that term is very often used for like a portrait, okay? So if someone wants to make a portrait, I actually made a portrait. And I wanna tell you guys the story about it, okay? So a few years ago, I don't remember how many years ago it's been. I, I think it was like 2017 or so. I believe it was 2017 or 2018. I don't remember exactly. I think it was, no, was it even earlier? I don't remember. It was a long, it was a quite a while ago, okay? So I used to be um, a, I, I have a biochem degree, okay? In case you never knew about that, <laughs> that about me. And I used to work in research and uh, one of my boss's name was Dan. Okay, and he was really, really big um, in uh, the industry in terms of kidney transplants. Okay, so he actually met the president and they signed a contract or a, a law, or whatever it was during that time. I don't remember the exact details that someone who has HIV can 
tr give a transplant or kidney transplant to someone who also has HIV. Beforehand, it was always you couldn't do that, uh, regardless of what disease you had, you couldn't do it, right? So you could only give a healthy transplant to someone who was healthy or relatively healthy and didn't have anything else, right? So that law kind of helped, you know, eliminate that. And so he's kind of part of that. But that's not the story, okay? That's just a little minor detail in case you were curious. But Dan actually had cancer and he passed away. And it was very, very extreme mentally for me. Like it was very emotional for me because for me, I actually thought I would become a PhD. I would I really thought I would go into the PhD route. But that kind of like shook me and I started, there was, I was really into crocheting during that time. So I had a good connection with their, with the family. And so I made a portrait of him. It took me about two weeks, like every single day I crochet. But I noticed while I was making that portrait, um, and I have a picture of that um, later on. Um, when I made that portrait, I really... I didn't realize how many crocheters were struggling with crochet with crocheting colors. Okay. Like there was so many tips that I learned as I went through this, they really felt like I need to put something together for you guys. So that's when I first initially launched something called change colors and crochet a course. And that was a while ago, a long time ago. Okay. So, uh, since then there was so many more things that I learned and that I put together and I was like, you know what, I need to put it all together for you guys and really get in depth about it. So that's why I'm here. I want to show you as many details as I can and, uh, really teach you everything that I know. And I put it in a really nice comp comprehensive, um, um, style together so you can really learn it in your own pace, like at your own pace. This is one of of the things that I really feel like is very important at your own pace. <laughs> okay. Because I don't want anyone to struggle. I don't want anyone having to rush, especially with this, you know, way of living with technology all around us. So, but anyways, that is something that I learned. So tapestry and ontargia. So if you, it looks like some of you guys don't know. So someone uh, in my group, I think posted here and uh, said they don't know. Okay. So one of them carries the yarn. So you carry the yarn as you go. And then the other one, you drop the yarn. So ontargia is typically where you drop the yarn and tapestry is where you carry the yarn. Okay. So when you say, when I carry the yarn, that means you, you know, you crochet over it in the same way as you did with fair isle. Okay. So you carry it along. So technically fair isle is a type of tapestry. If you really really go, want to go into details about it. Okay. But on Tarja is where you drop your yarn. So that is something I did for the graph scan. Okay. For the portrait, I dropped my yarn and I used yarn bobbins and you probably have heard yarn bobbins before. And that's when you usually use yarn bobbins because it, there's there's a lot of pros and cons when it comes to ontargia versus tapestry. One of them is going to be more stiff and the other one's more flexible. Uh, one of them allows you to save some yarn. The other one is, uses more yarn, but um, you don't have any yarn tangles and stuff like that happening. So um, there's a lot of different techniques that I want to teach you. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so I put something together and I'm going to show it to you in detail. Are you ready for it? Okay. Because the very first thing that I teach you is something that's called color changing. It, no, whoopsie. I uh, picked the wrong one. Excuse me. <laughs> Demystifying colors. <laughs> Demystifying colors where I teach you the difference between all the different colors, the schemes, the hue, the shade, the tint, the tone, warm colors versus cold colors and how to combine them and stuff, uh, stuff like that. This is a really, really in-depth uh, list right here. And then I get into the basics of color changes. So color changes is really where you learn how to change colors from the most beginner. So if you've never done this before, this is the most beginner, like how to change colors in crochet the, it's just one stitch at a time. Okay. For just one color, then multiple colors, then what to do with yarn bobbins, how to deal with them, some tips and tricks and secrets about yarn bobbins that you may have never heard before. And then how to deal with that if you're on the wrong side. Let's say you are, are you doing a project that is not in rounds 
Because I feel like the most trouble that crocheters have is when it comes to color changes that are not in rounds. Because for rounds, you can really hide it in the back and usually you can put a lining on it and you're good to go. But when it comes to rows, that's where the biggest struggle is, okay? And I have lots of tips for you where you can make even the wrong side of your project look prettier, okay? So it doesn't look like a mess, <laughs> okay? So that's one of the things. And then, of course, once you know the basics of that, we go into Antarsia versus Tapestry, okay? And then you have all these different projects. So let me show you some of them. Okay, so here is one of the projects. Okay, and if you ever remember, we did a mystery crochet along. This used to be a mystery crochet along. Okay, so we actually went through this and I taught you a whole bunch of things about how to change colors right here to make this look really, really pretty. And you can see how the color changes are really, really neat. And this is all done in single crochet. Okay, so this is actually uh, where you have a pretty side and another pretty side. Can you see that? So even the inside, which is the wrong side, looks pretty. Can you see that? So these are pockets, but you can see it looks really, really pretty. So a wrong side of your project in single crochet does not have to look ugly, right? So some people have like a whole mess going on in the back, uh, in the back which is fine if you can cover it up. <laughs> if you have something going on in the back and you can cover it so nobody sees it. But you can also make it look pretty when you have like pockets or something like that. And I'm going to teach you all of that, okay? So that's just one of the projects that you see right there. Um, and then we have... a. Uh, Fair Isle, okay? So Fair Isle, as you probably noticed, is this, okay? So Fair Isle is knit like crochet. So you can see there's a lot of different uh, patterns that you can do all in Fair Isle. And there's really a different look when it comes to single crochet versus the waistcoat stitch, which is Fair Isle. Um, one of them looks obviously knit like, but sometimes you can make the color changes look neater. Um, with Fair Isle, but it is mostly used for rounds, okay? Because for rounds, it is much easier to make Fair Isle happen because in rows, uh, it's very hard to make the V happen on both sides equally. So with color changes and Fair Isle, uh, not a good combination. In that case, usually people jump right over to Tapestry or Antargia in order to make that a little cleaner. Did you know about that? Let me know in a comment. I would love to know. I know some of you guys are listening very, very closely. <laughs> All right, so let's get into more detail. So once you kind of learn the basics of this, okay, then we go into a little bit more detail and then we have Tunisian crochet and then we have corner to corner. Yes, a lot of you guys know about corner to corner. You know, corner to corner simply different di different types of techniques um, where you can change colors using teeny tiny blocks. Okay, they're called it's called a block stitch where you use double crochet or half double crochet in order to do color work. Okay, so different types of color projects. So such as this where you can do color changes, right? And it uses corner to corner. You can't hear anything. You can't hear, turn it up. I hope you can hear me. I, I see my microphone is working. Let me know if you, you might wanna tune it up a little bit. <laughs> I can move my, my water bottle. Maybe that's a little more clear, but it sounds like it's working on my end. It's very loud on my end. Um, so let me know. Can everyone hear me? I, it looks like some of you guys answered my question. So sounds fine. Okay, good, yay. I was, I was worried for a second here because I had recently some trouble with sound. Anyways, so corner to corner is very normal. A lot of people know about corner to corner when it comes to color changes. There's a lot of tricks you can learn when it comes to corner to corner because, you know, corner to corner, when, let's say you have a color that picks up a little down the road, right? Uh, do you need to cut your yarn immediately? Should you use yarn bobbins? How do you deal with the yarn mess, right? There's so much to learn and I have all of that for you. So you can see that each section here, okay, has like a tutorial section that's just bubbles. You can see those little yarn balls. And uh, then there's of course all the patterns that come with it, right? So I'm teaching you how to do uh, color changes with corner to corner, teach you how to do color changes in Tunisian crochet, and then just like all the other t um, uh, tutorials, you then go into and learning. It's like, once I learned this, let's apply it. And so I have all those patterns for you where you can literally apply your knowledge that you have just gained, okay? 
but that's not all. There's more to it, okay? How about we talk about plaid and mosaic crochet? So plaid, it is very similar. So plaid, a lot of crocheters know about this, especially during the Christmas time. You've seen a lot of plaid, okay? So let me see, I have one. I have one right here, okay? This is one of my favorite pillows. I use it all the time. This is plaid. But if you're looking closely, you can see it is single crochet, okay? So plaid, actually, you can do in, excuse me, I have some, <laughs> some yarn just went into my nose, uh, into my mouth and nose, actually, I know this. Anyways, uh, so plaid, you can actually do in multiple different uh, stitches. It doesn't have to be just single crochet. However, it does use the concept of tapestry where you literally carry your yarn with you um, as you crochet and then color uh, or change the colors accordingly in order to create this effect of the plaid, okay? The plaid effect that some of you guys know a lot during the Christmas time. And because that is so popular, it decided to make it kind of separate because plaid as I said is not just single crochet you can also do it in double crochet one of these I think the bottom one here um, is a placemat which is all done in double crochet and yes there's videos to come with it of course okay so yes you can do plaid in different styles different uh, stitches I have even seen people do it in uh, corner to corner but I didn't mention that here because we have a separate um, module for that but let's get into the color changes that are not as obvious, okay? Where you can say, well, is that a color change? So mosaic crochet actually is a very, very special technique where technically you don't change colors, okay? You, well, you do, but at the beginning or of the, uh, at the beginning of a row around, okay? That's when you switch colors. So you literally drop it and pick up a new color and that's how you're gonna continue crocheting. So technically you don't even change colors within a row. It's only at the beginning of a row around, okay? Which is really, really cool. So you can create all these different um, styles. Let me see if I can pick some up here. I have a few of them here. Um, so you can see that. So here's one of them, okay? This is literally mosaic crochet and it looks like I changed colors everywhere, right? but it actually wasn't like that. It wasn't a color change that happened in every row. Um, it is, or it's just the beginning of the row, right? But not within it, which is really, really cool. But there's more. <laughs> Are you ready for more? Okay, what about these different techniques? Which is, these two different techniques are a lot of times not really well known, okay? So a lot, a lot of crocheters may not even he have heard about them. So there's interlocking crochet. And if someone sees interlocking crochet, let me actually show it to you. I have one project right here. Sorry, it fell down. Okay, this one right here, okay? You would think it is mosaic crochet. It's not, okay? It is interlocking crochet. And interlocking crochet, if you really, really go in detail about it, if, or this is the way I see it because it is the easiest way for me to remember it and the easiest way for me to uh, crochet it is if you think of a combination of filet crochet and mosaic crochet, like literally you combine the two and mingle them together, then you have interlocking crochet, okay? So that means what you're actually doing is you are doing two different projects at the same time okay, that are filet crochet, and you intermingle them together so they look like mosaic crochet, but they are actually filet crochet, but they're combined together and crocheted at the exact same time, which means you're actually not even changing colors. Technically, you're dropping one and picking up the other, and you're not even mixing them together. Like, literally, there are two separate projects, which is really, really cool, okay? And you can create all kinds of cool effects when it comes to interlocking crochet. And of course, they're reversible as you can tell, right? So, and then we have wiggle crochet. Wiggle crochet, again, the foundation is filet crochet, but then you crochet 3D-like on top. 
and that's where you change the colors there okay you can change the colors within it you can change the colors after every section and it's a really it's a wiggle situation as you can see on these images they're wiggly okay so which is where you go in a zigzag and create wiggles um, of the crochet that you put on top the 3d crochet so that's a lot of techniques I mean seriously a lot now let me break it down a little bit more but one thing I do want to show you before we get into that and that is these two okay I have one thing that I always thought was the most important for a crocheter is once they learn all the techniques they need to learn how to use other things to be creative okay and pixel graph is the perfect way to be a creative crocheter by using your just gained knowledge and apply it don't you think <laughs> and so i gave you guys here four 40 40 four zero 40 additional graphs and here's some of the images you can see right there that you can use at your own pleasure and create something with it so some of them are squares some of them are bigger projects some of them you can make into a shawl so many different things um, that you can combine together to make this happen did you guys know all about this and then right here i'm giving you an extra bonus uh, the bonus is and i actually didn't show it on the picture because i want you to see it okay <laughs> later on is that i actually teach you how to do embroidery because once you have a solid piece of crochet in this case you can see i did a little uh, mug like thing you can add embroidery to it to make it multicolor. You don't have to just change colors. And that's why I'm giving you a bonus module because it's all about colors, right? So now let's break this all down in a little bit more in detail because I want to show it to you, okay? So do you understand a little bit better? So this is what I have here for you, okay? I have a brand new ebook for you. And this one is really in depth. And actually, I'm gonna show it to you in a second um, by actually, I printed it out. Okay, I printed it out because I like to print things out. <laughs> I'm old fashioned that way. But I actually recommend you don't print it out. The only reason I printed it out is because I used to. I'm always printing out my ebooks. I like to do it and, I, and it's a way for me to show it to you how it actually looks like. Look how thick it is. It is 209 pages, okay, filled with, I have to, let's see how I'm gonna hold this to show you. <laughs> it is obviously ad free and printer friendly. It has a clickable table of content menu bar, and I'm going to show you those in a second, okay? And then we have all of those nine, did you hear that? Nine different color techniques with 30 patterns, 40 additional graphs, over 209 pages with 58 video tutorials. So it is the most comprehensive color changing ebook you will probably ever find on the market, okay? anywhere i have ebooks that are just for mosaic crochet i have ebooks for just corner to corner i have ebooks for just whatever it is okay but this is the only one that gives you all of it in one scoop so if you've ever wanted to learn how to make your own portrait how to make how to do intarsia crochet how to do tapestry crochet how to do mosaic crochet corner to corner tunisian crochet literally learn tunisian crochet okay um plaid mosaic crochet interlocking crochet wiggle crochet all of that is in one scoop right here can you believe it <laughs> are you a doctor i am not a doctor nope <laughs> i do have a uh, master's but i don't have a doctorate no Okay, let me show you a little bit more detail. And if you wanna get it, okay, uh, I have a link right here for you. So let me tell you, usually this, uh, actually I was going back and forth with my husband about it, how much I should charge for this. And we were realizing how actually, how much value there's really in there. It is hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I, I should be charging for this, but I'm not, okay, I'm not. Uh, because I know in which economy we are in and I know I want to give you guys as much knowledge as possible So here's a link for you right here and you can get $20 off using that coupon code that you see right there Okay, and it gives you the entire collection like the entire collection for less than $20. Yep, you heard that right So if you want to get all of that, this is your chance. So let me show you um, How it actually looks like so I have it here printed out. Okay, I'm gonna put the link back up for you guys um, so you can see it. I even have a code for you, uh, like a 
a QR code. So if you prefer that, you can use that as well. But here, I printed it out for you. And I want to kind of show to you what that actually means when I say clickable table of, uh, of content, okay? Now, obviously, I printed it out. So there's nothing to click here. But I want to point at it, okay? So this is the entire table of content. I make it very easy for you. Look, I even used the color balls that I used for that sub table of content, which I'm about to show you. So this is the entire table of content. This is everything you're getting in it, okay? So let me repeat myself. We have the mystifying colors, the basics, the most basic color changing uh, tutorials, everything you need to know, including how to weave in your ends. I know this is one of those things that a lot of people struggle with, is how do I do it properly so it's not being shown or it, it doesn't come undone, okay? There's an entire module on that, okay, that gives you all of that information. Then we have the nine color changing techniques, Antarja versus Tapestry, Fair Isle, Tunisian crochet, like I'm giving you everything, color changing techniques, the, the tutorials, like the, the stitches, everything. I even give you crow hooking. If you've ever heard crow hooking, that is Tunisian crochet and rounds using a double sided crochet hook. Okay. And uh, that way is another way of changing colors. I give you all of that. Okay. Including patterns with it. Corner to corner, different styles. There's regular corner to corner, which is the double crochet. And then there's the mini corner to corner, which is half double crochet. How to make your own graphs. I'm even going to teach you that. But there's two different things. There's a how to make your graph when it comes to like these styles. Okay, so like Antarctica, Tapestry, Tunisian Crochet, Fair Isle, and Corner to Corner. They are all even plaid. Okay, you can use this tutorial for right here. But mosaic crochet needs a special tutorial, which is why I give you a second tutorial on how to make your own graph specifically for mosaic crochet. Yup, I give you all of that. If you want all of that, this, this is the QR code up there is the link with the coupon code. This is where you get it, okay? Plaid crochet, interlocking, wiggle, and then we have the additional 4D. Yes, you heard that right. So 40 additional graphs that I'm giving you. So now let me show you the, what, what I mean by clickable. Any of this is clickable on a digital device, okay? Whether it's your desktop, whether it's a mobile device, if you have downloaded the PDF after getting it, after you purchased it, you can literally click on any of this. You need obviously a PDF or ebook reader, but you can click on any of this. Any of this is clickable. I, I did the work for you, so you have to just click on it, okay? And it jumps you right to it. So let's say you jump to demystifying colors, okay? Jumps you right here. These are the pages. So if you want to scroll, you can scroll. Up there is a menu bar. You can always click on it, and it always takes you back to the table of contents. So no scrolling back and forth unless you want to, okay? <laughs> so we have all the color changing. These are clickable too. All of these balls that I showed you earlier of that subcategory, these are all clickable too. So any of these you can click and it takes you straight over to all the things. So everything has video tutorials. So we have the color we are, the color theory, all of these schemes, all of the things that you need to learn. And then we have, of course, the color changing techniques, everything in a lot of detail. Now, if you can see, I made everything in big font, so it's easy for you to read. And we have big graphs. We have a lot of patterns in it here. Everything that you really, really need to know, everything in one, okay? And then up back here are then the additional pixel graphs that I'm giving you. Look at all these, aren't these so cute? All of these, you can get an addition to it like all of them, okay? Everything is in one ebook for, if you wanna print it out, you can print it out. <laughs> it's totally up to you. I like to print things out. So you get nine color changing techniques, 30 patterns and 40 additional pixel graphs with 58 video tutorials. And most of the video tutorials either have like, um, you know, green or blue links, or you will see the box where it says watch video, okay? And everything is in one, and you have everything in one um, um, vault. So once you go in there, you can just click there and it takes you straight over and you can watch it right from there. Isn't that amazing? Have you ever seen anything like it? Let me know. I love this. I love this reaction. It's like, wow. I know, <laughs> so go get, grab it right now. This is your deal, but this deal expires by Wednesday, okay? And the price will then go back up. So just that you know, this is the only way for you to literally save. So the entire thing is 90% off, okay? 
but I'm giving you $20 coupon code on top of it because it's a brand new ebook and it's never been out there before. Now, little hint there. If you've ever purchased my color changing course before, you do not get access to this ebook, okay? This is a separate ebook. So you get to keep the course, but the ebook is separate, okay? So if you want the entire ebook the way it is right here, the 209 pages, then go get it. This is a stellar deal to get it for less than $20. Isn't that amazing? Can you believe it? I can't believe I put this together. <laughs> I've worked my booty off for the last several weeks to put this together for you guys because I feel like it is the most comprehensive way for you guys to learn how to do all those color changes. Uh, I mean, seriously, when I made that portrait that I talked about earlier, I, I cried in between, not because I was frustrated, but of course of the emotional things that I went through for losing a, my boss that actually I had a good connection with, but I also realized how much everyone else was struggling. I was like, I need to, I need to teach this. I need to tell you guys how to do this. So you don't have to struggle. I wasn't per se struggling, but I realized that other people were struggling. So I need to put this together to give you guys all that knowledge because why keep it to myself? That's selfish. I'm not a selfish person. I'm a giver. <laughs> I want to give it to you all. <laughs> okay. So go get your uh, ebook right now. You get all of this as I I just told you and once you click on this link it gives you everything broken down again I even made a video there you can see everything how I click around so you can see how I jump through it that I'm not just making this up okay you can literally jump around um, and do it all and there's the coupon code right there oh you are so sweet I love it you're you're very generous thank you I appreciate that very much so it is now time for me to announce the winners of the mystery crochet along so let me put this away here for a second okay I'm going to put this away, but I'm going to put my one up here so that way you can still see it. And I'm going to put my little QR code um, so you can scan this as well as in case you need it. Because now I'm going to tell you guys who are the winners of the Mystery Crochet Along. So anyone who finished this and posted the, their pictures on time, there I grabbed three random people. There were a lot of you guys, but three random ones. Um, and please give a big of applause leave a comment down below to congratulate them so we have rena we have darlene and we have sarah so let me put my applause <laughs> and by the way uh so first of all these three if you guys could please email me let me put my email address here so you guys email me please okay that way i can give you guys access to the ebook for free yes they literally just won this for free okay so but i need your guys's email address in order to give it to you for free so please please email me so i can give you guys access to the ebook remember this is a replay available later so you can always rewind and get back to my email address if you need it but if you are getting the ebook right now, okay, literally while I'm live, I'm going to celebrate you, okay? So please leave a comment down below if you got it already. Uh, so that way I can celebrate you because I really, really want to. <laughs> so I'm going to pull up my, my stats here. So in case someone already got it and needs to uh, be reminded to uh, let us know. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to show you some of them of some of the patterns that are in the ebook okay so we have this pattern right here because as i said you're not just learning all the techniques but you're also getting the pattern so this is a uh corner to corner ear warmer twisted as you can see but checkered which is really really fun of course this pattern is in the ebook then we have let me grab all my pattern. Unfortunately, all of them fell down. So we have this fun pattern right here, which is reversible because it is done in Tunisian crochet in crow hooking. And yes, there's color changes, right? So it is really a different style of color change, but a really, really fun. And this, as I said, it's reversible. And if you ever want to know how I reverse it is I simply put two of these on. So we have this one and then we have it also, whoopsie daisy, my pom pom fell down also on the inside okay so it is reversible and which is really fun this is a very very popular pattern and then of course we have this one which is a keyhole scarf with two pockets okay this one is also a very very popular pattern 
Okay, so you have a leaf on one side and a pumpkin on the other side, which is really, really fun. Let's see how much I can stack here on top. Okay, and then we have this amazing corner to corner shawl, very popular shawl to show you how to make a sunset. This is a very, very popular shawl actually. Uh, and the cool thing on this is you don't have any decreases. <laughs> so if you ever tried corner to corner and corner to corner decreases frustrate you, uh, there's no decreases here. It is literally a triangle and you stop when you're done <laughs> and you only have increases, which is really, really cool. Oh my gosh, we already just had to pay for the ebook. Oh my gosh, look at you. Yes! Yes! So excited. <laughs> Mary, I'm so happy for you. If someone else is getting it, go let us know because I want to celebrate you. I'm so excited for you, Mary. Yay! Okay, so let me show you some more patterns I have here. We have this amazing pattern, which is a blanket. Let me see if I can even show it to you. This is going to be too big for the, for the camera here, I'm telling you, for the screen. So we have a hot air balloon, again, corner to corner. Let's see. Can you see it's a hot air balloon? <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see it. Okay, so it's a hot air balloon. Okay, and it's a nice, beautiful blanket, perfect for a toddler or for a young child because it covers them completely. It actually covers me too. Let me see. It covers me too, okay? Maybe not all the way, but until here it does cover me. <laughs> so um, it is a beautiful blanket, perfect for uh, a child. Uh, I mean, to have a lot of dreams flying around, however you want to call it, right? We have also here are some mosaic crochet gloves these are the perfect way to get started with mosaic crochet okay i give you this pattern it is there's a lot of premium patterns in here you can't get anywhere else really besides in an ebook okay um then this is the mosaic crochet pattern here that allows you and this is fingerless gloves so i'm not going to put it on right now okay but they're fingerless gloves that allows you to literally learn mosaic crochet in a small little little thing oh my gosh we have more people just got it yay okay here here we go yay! 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 i'm so happy for you i'm so so happy for you and barbara once you get it i'm gonna celebrate you too girl let's go get it all right in the meantime while you get the ebook i'm gonna show you guys this one one of my absolute favorites okay this one is so, so fun. So this is um, tapestry again. So tapestry in rounds. And personally, I prefer tapestry in rounds when it comes to, um, when I do it in rounds in corner to corner, and not corner to corner, single crochet, I actually prefer doing it in the back loop only. So look at that. This is when you do um, tapestry in a back loop only. It creates this beautiful extra texture and kind of hides a little bit the color changes, okay? Ooh, someone else just got it. Unfortunately, I can't see you who you are, but I'm gonna sell it! Yeah! I'm so happy for you, yay! I don't know your name, but I'm super happy. Let me know who you are and that way I can call you out directly. I am so happy you got it. I know you're my Facebook group because I can't, unfortunately I can't see my Facebook group members <laughs> in this live privacy and all. It's a private group, right? So let me know who you are. So if you want me to call you out, I'm so happy for you. Yay. Okay. Let's keep going. We have a few more things. Here's another, I just took my pom-pom off of this one. Okay. So this is another Tunisian crochet uh, pattern. Remember, this is just a fraction of all the patterns. There's 30 in the ebook. So this is Tunisian crochet again, and again, reversible. Okay. Again, color changes, but this is crow hooking again, which is really, really fun. So that's one. Then I showed you guys this amazing one right here, which is a poncho, by the way. You can use it as a shawl too, okay? I literally sewed it together. Let me see if I can show the seam. There's the seam. I sewed it together to turn it into a poncho, but it is big enough that you could turn it into just a regular, you know, shawl if you prefer, right? And if you make it even bigger or wider, you can even make it into a blanket. <laughs> so this is a really, really fun one. The cool thing on this guy is it looks like it is super, super colorful in terms of using a lot of colors, but it's actually not. It is a uh, variegated yarn with white together to make it really, really pop. And this is actually um, Premier yarn. It's, what is it called? 
Sweet Roll Vivid Yarn. I just looked at it over here. <laughs> Sweet Roll Vivid Yarn that makes this happen, which is really, really amazing. And then, of course, um, we have this one right here, which is one of my absolute favorite pillows. Of course, it's on the other side as well, okay? And I used it a lot already, which is why it's dirty on one side. <laughs> So I'm not going to show you my dirty side because I spilled some coffee on it and I have to wash it. And I just realized it that I forgot to wash it before the live. Anyways, here's my pillow, which I absolutely love. And it has this beautiful shell ribbing here or border all the way around. Um, makes this really, really pop. And it has the heart right there. And actually, just to make the heart pop a little bit more, I ran around it with the surface crochet just to make it really pop and has a little bit of a 3D effect as well. So really, really awesome. So that's just one of, you know, one fraction of the patterns. Oopsie daisy. So let me see if I can show you. Oh, I have another one I forgot to show you guys. It just kind of hit there a little bit. It is a little tiny, well, it's not really tiny, but it is for me tiny for my hand. <laughs> it's a bell actually. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see, there's a bell. Okay, it's a bell uh, that you can hang up and it's two-sided, okay? And I put like a snowflake on it. I absolutely love this project. It was really, really fun to make. Um, so again, this is Fair Isle, okay? And using color changes at the same time to make this cute little bell. And you also get that pattern in the ebook. So we have all these different patterns. Everything color changes. Let me move all of this. <laughs> so I can switch my screen one more time so I can show you some of the patterns in a little bit more detail, okay? So let's swoop this around for a second. Okay, so here's the ebook again, color printed out, of course. So let's hop to some of these um, tutorial, uh, some of these categories here so you can see them. So you get all of these patterns right here in terms of Antarja and tapestry. Okay, here's the picture I wanted to show you guys. This is the portrait I made for my boss. This is Dan. Um, sadly, he passed away. He, he, had, he had a huge career. He's, he was a really amazing boss. But anyways, I miss him deeply. But he passed away, and this is the portrait I made. This is, is looks like it's just black and white, but it's a lot of gray colors in it too to give it a little bit more depth. So it actually has like five or six different colors. And this is the uh, portrait I made. It is huge, actually. It's like really, really big. I forgot how big it was. It's uh, probably like, you know what? I don't know the dimensions, but it was really, really large. So it's like half of my body size, okay? Um, so it could have been almost a blanket. <laughs> oh my gosh, we had someone else again. get it. Yay, hold on, I got to talk to... Oh! It's so funny for you. I'm so excited you got it. Okay, so if anyone else is getting it um, while I'm live, let me know and I'll celebrate you. Okay, so I want to go through, hang on, stuck a little bit here. Okay, so I want to go through all those patterns. So we have the tapestry. This is Antarji on tapestry. You get all of these patterns with all of these tutorials, of course, right? This Here's another snowflake one and a polar bear. Uh, this is like a washcloth, right? And then uh, we have Fair Isle. Let me show you Fair Isle. Where is my Fair Isle? Hang on. Right here is Fair Isle. You get all of this for Fair Isle. We have, of course, the mystery crochet line. We just finished this. This is another way to get this pattern at free and printer friendly. It is currently not available as a standalone PDF, by the way. We have these gloves, which I actually originally called them flying hearts because it looks like these hearts, these little hearts, the little V's are flying up in the sky right but later on someone said they actually look like french fries in a mcdonald's baggie <laughs> so if you want to call them french fries gloves then go for it <laughs> uh some people call them that way but you call them whatever you want to call them but yeah that is in there as well we have this cute little one um which is just a little pouch okay and then this, the bell that i showed you and here's a pillow that has literally a snow scene oh robin just got it hang on i gotta celebrate robin Whoa! Whoa! So, happy for you. so excited
excited. Working on down the ebook. Yeah, go for it. It is big, but I compressed it a little bit. So once you click on it, it goes automatically into your download folder. A little side note. I know some, some of you guys always say, where does it go? It goes right into your download folder. So whatever device you're using goes right into it. Okay. So we have all, this is a pillow. It's a really fun pillow. So it's a snow scene. Uh, not sure if you can see there's some black trees here and then the white tree that has like snow on it right then we have the sun and uh there's more trees here on the side it's like a snow scene it's like a winter snow scene uh really beautiful okay so here are the fun gloves again okay let's go to the next chapter we have right here which is tunisian crochet you learn all of these so color changing techniques the stitches themselves so even if you've never done Tunisian crochet before, you're learning it here right now, okay? And you have curl hooking in rows and rounds. And then of course we have all of these patterns right here where you have some color changes happening, which is cool. But technically there is another one that's Tunisian crochet, but it's with mosaic crochet. So I'll get into that in a second, okay? So technically you have another Tunisian crochet pattern, but it's in the mosaic crochet section. So let me show you. Uh, we go into the next one, which is then corner to corner. Um, I just got asking me to sign in. Yes, you need to sign in using your email address. Okay, your email address is both the username and the password. That is your login information. Okay, so type it in twice and you logged in. You're good to go. So we have, and that's, I think it should say in your email as well. I wrote it in there. So the corner to corner tutorials, you get all of this. You learn color changes. You learn, if you, even if you've never done corner to corner before, you literally learn it step by step. You even learn how to make your own graphs. And then you get all of these patterns with it. Start from like the most easiest color changing one, right? Where you simply just have two colors and you just change colors every uh, diagonal row, right? And then you just make this checkered, um, a twisted ear warmer then you can even go into more in-depth one this one has two tutorials as, uh, three tutorials as well this one used to be a mystery crochet along as well so if these tutorials up here don't work for you watch this one this one is also very very in detail about corner to corner it teaches you exactly how to do increases decreases change of color everything okay this has it in there as well. Then we have this tutorial, which has app, uh, this pattern has absolutely no decreases, which is cool. And then we have this one. In my opinion, this is the most, well, not challenging, but definitely the longest one. So this is the blanket right here. And then you can see it right here, right? And then we have the mosaic crochet one. So let's go into the mosaic crochet. Okay, so mosaic crochet has different types of mosaic crochet. We have overlay and inset, and I teach you that as well. And then there's, of course, there's also Tunisian crochet. So we have overlay um, and inset, um, mosaic crochet, we have mosaic crochet in rows, we have mosaic crochet, Tunisian crochet, so mosaic, Tunisian crochet, pretty much combining two techniques in one. Uh, you can do that as well. Borders, mosaic crochet and rounds, and make your own graphs. And then you get all of this as well. So this is an easy way to get started, which just learning how to do mosaic crochet. It's a little tiny square that you can use um, as a mug rug, or if you weave in your ends, you know, you can do anything with it, or you add a beautiful border. Again, the borders are right here. If you don't want the ends to show, then you use that. Here are some fingerless gloves to learn the poncho. And then this one is actually Tunisian mosaic crochet. So, or mosaic Tunisian crochet. <laughs> so anyways, this one, you can combine two different techniques in one. Of course, you could also use the graph and make it into regular mosaic crochet, but the pattern here is Tunisian. So if you want to combine two in one, this is for you. Okay, now let's get into the next category, which is plaid. Plaid, again, the tutorial about plaid, color changes, everything in there. And then we have these three patterns. Let me be clear. This is a pillow. This is a coaster. And this is a placemat. Again, this is all clickable, right? So you can just jump around between it. Super, super fun. Then you have interlocking crochet. The most in-depth tutorial about interlocking crochet I've ever done, I think. <laughs> I think it's 30 minutes long. It's very long, but it's very, very detailed and teaches you everything. And I used exactly what is in the tutorial to teach you how to make these two different patterns okay so if you want to learn how to make these two different patterns just watch this video right here and it gives you everything all right and then the very last um, 
second to last, excuse me, second to last one is wiggle crochet. Again, you have the tutorial that comes with wiggle crochet, actually teaches you how to do this guy right here. And once you learn how to do it, you can make both of these patterns right here. Really, really fun. And then once you feel like you need more, you go literally right here to the pixel graphs and get all of these additional 40 pixel graphs here so you can practice different techniques whether it is tapestry intarsia corner to corner whatever it is you can practice with it just keep in mind that the mosaic crochet you need separate graphs for it which is why i give you additional graphs here in the back that are just mosaic crochet okay that way you can learn those as well and practice with them it is so much fun this is probably the most in depth that i've ever made a ebook and as I said, it is 209 pages, nine color, color work techniques, 30 patterns and 40 pixels, pixel graphs. That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> like if you ever want to learn how to change colors and crochet, this is your go-to guide. It's like your ultimate beginner guide. Everything in one is in here. Really, really amazing. Yay, Barbara. Woohoo. Now we can. Yay. I'm so excited. Ooh, I forgot to click my button. <laughs> I am so excited you got in. So, so excited. Okay. Hello, I made it. I am so excited you're here. If you haven't seen it yet, I got a new ebook. It's called Crochet Color Changes Made Easy. It's all in there. Everything you need to know is in there. You can jump around. I highly recommend keeping it on a digital device so you can really take advantage of the user friendliness. So you can jump around between the ebook. But I understand if you want to just print something out. Keep in mind, you can print things in sections. Every printer allows you to put a print range in it. So if you just want to work on one pattern, you want to print that one page out, you can just print that one page or two pages out and you're good to go, okay? Every printer or mobile device or digital device allows you to do just that. So I'm going to hop off now. I am so excited that you guys all came and you guys took advantage of the ebook. Let me show you really quickly here again the uh, lineup. Let's see if I can show it to you right here. All of this is in one. You can get it for $20 off only on to Wednesday using this coupon code right there in the link. Uh, let me see if I can put the link in the description as well in the comments. I put it in the comments right now, but I think it only works for YouTube and for my Facebook page. But um, there's also a description where it will be once the replay is available. And I am so excited for y'all to go get this ebook right now. Go grab it. Here's the code. Here's well, the QR code. Here's the code that you need in order to get $20 off. There's also a chance for you to get my most popular ebook, which is the ear moving hats. If you want to get those, you can get it at the same time. Time, and you can also join my membership at the same time if you wish. My membership has over 400 ad-free printer-friendly patterns. There's a print button on every bottom of the patterns and it allows you to do checkbox. There's checkboxes to check off so you can save your progress. And you join my, member, uh, my membership uh, Facebook group as well where I go live every week and have exclusive patterns just like the ones you see here behind me. They're all exclusives. Look, we just made this pie. Isn't that so cute? It's a keychain pie like so fun. That's all my membership. Okay. So if you want to join us, that's where uh, you can join us. And there is a special a deal at the end of the transaction. So once you click complete order, you're going to be taken to a one-time deal to join my membership. If you want to join it, this is your chance to join it. Okay. So most people are annual members, little heads up. It gives you two options, annual or monthly. You can pick one or the other. Anyways, I'm going to hop off now. I hope you have a beautiful day. I'm going to send my newsletter out now. If you're my newsletter, I'm going to remind you of the link and go take advantage and go get your ebook and enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. And remember, it is fall season. So all about color changes. Learn everything you want to know about color changes, whether it's the color itself or whether it's the techniques and then apply your new gain knowledge onto the patterns that you got with it. Yay, I'm so excited. So I hope to see you guys next time. Until then.